our room. We've got the bed here and then outside on our balcony is a pool. How unreal. And then this is the view. And then we've got complimentary tea and coffee, water, a mini fridge. And then this is the toilet in here and the shower. It's a good shower, isn't it? That's it. Lovely. So we've come up to the rooftop of our hotel. This is what it looks like. These chairs are really cool. And then the pool was over here. This is the pool. We can watch the sunset up here. And then the bar's over here. I'm just about to get ready for the evening. And I thought I needed to show you this dressing gown because look at the sleeves. Have you ever seen a dressing gown with short sleeves? <laughs> dressing gowns were in the wardrobe but it's a good thing to have to get ready in but yeah we chilled up at the pool and watched the sunset and now we're gonna get ready and just see what's around our hotel and go and get some dinner Some barbecue chicken poppers next. We've now got some cheesy fries and <laughs> cheese balls. Try the um, cheese ball. Oh Good. <laughs> next, we've got some spring rolls and jackpot a shrimp. The food here is literally so good. We haven't eaten at any of the other markets um, because we were too scared, but this food all looks really fresh and it's really nice. So we're back now from the market. We didn't actually plan to go to the markets tonight. We planned to go out for dinner. But when we were walking there, we actually came across the market. Um, and it's only like a 15 minute walk from our hotel, which is good because we can go there like most nights. Um, but yeah, that food was so good. I'm glad we've got to try the street food now because I really didn't want to leave here and not try any yeah. of the street food. But um, what was your favourite? Them chicken pots, I think. Oh, no, gyozas. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, the chicken gyozas were literally so good. And it's good because there's so many different food options. We can go back and try something different. We're back now and we're going to chill for the rest of the evening. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to go to see some of the beaches. So we're going to get up quite early. But, yeah, I'm excited to be in Krabi. And this hotel is literally so nice. Compared to where we were staying in Pee Pee, it was quite, like, basic and... It was just a bungalow, it didn't have Wi-Fi, didn't have like a fridge or like a safe or anything. But here is it cheat unreal. So I've just got ready for the day. I'm wearing this bikini from Sheen and then my little cargo shorts are from Pretty Little Thing. Um, and we're about to walk down to Aerland Beach and then from there you can get a boat to Rayleigh Beach, so we're going to do that. But there's meant to be like a monkey trail on Ao Nang Beach, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm also going to get some breakfast because it's currently half nine and we haven't eaten yet. But yeah, let's go. We decided just to get a toasty from 7-Eleven. I got a ham and cheese toasty. And carbonara. <laughs> Jack croissant. got a carbonara croissant. Is that nice? Unreal. These are literally like... Well, we've got a water. And one of these each should come to £1.70. It's the monkey trout and they're in the trees. They're really small. Oh, look. We were walking 
walking up these steps and there was a woman walking down and we asked her if there's any more monkeys um, along the trail and she said no so we're not going to bother carrying on walking because it's up quite a few steps so we're just going to walk Being back to the start. Being is what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> she said you can walk along the trail to a beach but we're going to Rayleigh Beach anyway later so we're just going to go back to the start of the trail and see the monkeys that are there. <laughs> Guys, Jack was just <laughs> trying to feed the um, monkey a banana and um, he wasn't turning round so Jack dropped, <laughs> Jack dropped the banana like skin on his head accidentally. By accident. And turn around and it turned around and tried to attack Jack. I've got a video of it, it's so funny. <laughs> After Jack went, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> as if the monkey was going to know what that means. It's just so human-like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they actually are. Oh, that was so funny. We've come to the last fisherman's bar along the beach, and I got a mango and pineapple smoothie and a strawberry Fanta, and Jack got a chang, and now we're deciding what food to get this of you. We got chicken nuggets and chips, and then some chicken slatto sticks. I was going to get a salad, but... We saw this come out to another couple and it looked too good. We've made it to Rayleigh Beach. Not that busy, which we thought it was going to be a lot busier than this. Sunset. Got another beer. Cheers. Cheers. We got ready for the evening. Literally had like 10 minutes to get ready because it is actually quite late and we want to go for dinner. I'm just wearing this little white top from Primark and then these white shorts from White Fox. Um, and then I've just re straightened my hair. But yeah, I'm excited to get some food because I'm literally starving. We're in a restaurant called Rialto and it's an Italian restaurant. We've got a chan. Cheers. Cheers, babe. So I got a chicken and tomato penne pasta and then Jack got chicken noodles, but he's eating his already. Explain why. <laughs> Basically mine came out and it was wrong, it was spaghetti, so that's why Jack's eating his already. It's my birthday! I can't believe I'm waking up 23 in Thailand and it's my bloody birthday. I actually forgot my age and I thought I was turning 24, <laughs> but I'm actually only turning 23. Um, but it's currently 7am and it's 12pm in England, so I'm going to try and FaceTime Kira and say happy birthday, but... I'm hoping she's still awake. <gasps> Connecting. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Yay! I love you too. <laughs> I love you. Guys, that was my mum and her friend Tracy ringing and they're a bit drunk. Oh my god, there was just a knock on the door and Jack's ordered a floating breakfast. What the hell? I've never had a floating breakfast <laughs> before. <laughs> that is so sick. Time for breakfast. Let's tuck in. I'm all ready for the day and we're actually going to the elephant sanctuary today. 
My favourite animal was elephants and I thought it would be a really good idea to do this on my birthday. I've literally been so excited to do this so Jack's booked it for me and him and I'm going to do that and then I'm not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day but I'll hopefully be able to film a few clips and show you guys whilst we're at the elephant sanctuary. the elephants but I'm using my phone because I don't want to take my camera I haven't really been able to film that much because when you're like feeding the elephants you can't really film them back to the room and this is on the bed balloons and happy birthday sign Jack surprised me with this that's so cute <laughs> and look they've got their little logo on the balloons <laughs> of the hotel well, like I don't know <laughs> a cross on <laughs> yeah. so we're now back from the elephant sanctuary and that was literally unreal to be fair I was scared a little bit at the start so we got there and then there's like a tour person who brings you round um, and he just chats to you for a bit and tells you about the elephants and then you feed them bananas and the sugar cane um, and then you can like have pictures with them and stuff um, but when we were feeding them bananas I was really scared because you have to do it like a certain way and everything and it was quite scary but um, then we made like protein balls for them and they got to feed them those and then we washed them so we put like mud all over them in a pond and like washed them off and it was actually so good so I definitely recommend to do that if you're coming to Thailand it's quite a few elephant sanctuaries so you can do it in like most places but yeah that was actually unreal such a good thing to do on my birthday as well but now we're just going to go up to the pool and chill for a bit um, and then we're going to go out for dinner later on This is where I'm spending the afternoon of my birthday, chilling at the pool. It's literally boiling today, it's 36 degrees. Let's drink on my birthday, cheers. cheers. We got a Hawaiian pizza for lunch. Hawaiian's actually my favourite pizza and if you don't like pineapple on pizza, you're done. <laughs> but Jack never used to like pineapple on pizza but now he's converted. <laughs> so I'm finally ready for tonight to go out for dinner. I've decided to dress up a little bit tonight as soon as it's my birthday. I haven't really been dressing up, just been wearing shorts and little tops. But I've got this little two piece on from Sheen um, and I've done my hair and makeup. It feels really weird doing my makeup because I haven't done it since Bangkok, which was like two weeks ago now. But yeah, we're ready for the evening. We're going to a restaurant which Jack has chosen. I don't actually know where we're going, but we're going to watch the sunset and eat some food and then maybe go out for some drinks after. This is a better view of my outfit. The set's from Sheen and it's actually really nice, it's really good quality. So Jack booked the Hilltop restaurant and we literally drove up this huge hill and we can see the sunset from where we're sitting. Hopefully the clouds go and it's going to be a nice sunset. I ordered a mango cocktail and then Jack got a Chang but apparently all these lights come on in the tree and then that sign down there which says the hilltop lights up this is what the restaurant looks like 
I've got a Thai green curry with egg fried rice and this looks so nice. Thoughts are spinning round in my head. I also sit down because I'm almost there. Now I see you through the window and I'm walking on air. But I won't let you know. And I know how it goes. It's supposed to feel incredible. It's too bad you had to leave. Please come back now, baby. Where will we? I'm a day in Krabby. We're having a kind of chilled day today. I think we're just going to go down to the beach, get some breakfast down there, and then maybe go to the other beach that we didn't go to the other day. I can't remember what it's called. Pranang <laughs> Beach. I think it's called Pranang Beach. Um, but that's where the caves are apparently because we really wanted to do diamond cave we're going to do that today and probably just do some more sunbathing so we didn't actually realize to get to diamond cave and pranang beach you need to get the boat to Rayleigh beach and then just walk so we came to Rayleigh beach two days ago and we could have just done this <laughs> then but um we've come back we got a boat to Rayleigh beach and now we're walking to Diamond Cave, go to Pranang Beach after. Um, but on the way here, we just saw some more monkeys. <laughs> Guys, we're in Diamond Cave. It's quite dark in here. We just had to pay 200 baht each, which is like five pounds each to come in. to Pranang Beach. I think this is Rayleigh East but I'll definitely say Rayleigh West is way nicer. We've made it to the beach. It's quite busy but it's literally unreal. There's like caves all around.
just got a vodka Red Bull. Yeah. That's your wine. Is it? Yeah, I was expecting to be And sure. then <laughs> I've got a Malibu with pineapple. So hopefully this is nice. Quite a cool bar. It's got a pool table. We're showing the football. And the cocktails are only £2 each. Yeah. Pretty expensive. Pretty bloody damn expensive. <laughs> How good she look? Guys, we've come from the beach and we went to a few bars and we're going to a night market so Jack sent me wear his top. Flames, absolute flames. I woke up in the middle of the night and I loaded down with the by my side. First one I was dreaming when I was sleeping so I had to take a little ride. I went so low, it's so low, baby. So we didn't actually make it to the night markets because we went to the karaoke bar. Well, we walked past it and then we were like, you know what, let's just go and sing a song. And then next minute we were in there for like an hour. But we've got our 7 Eleven toasty. I got a ham and cheese one. And then got Jack two. got. What's in it? Uh, ham, cheese and crab. Ham, cheese and crab stick. Out here on the street, I'm losing my way. You've got into me and that's my mistake. Some might say I can't get too far. sandwich to share and this actually looks so good in their club sandwiches they have egg in which is unreal and these chips are so nice okay that just happened I'm fucking there is. What? oh my fuck <laughs> Me and Jack are off to get a massage at the massage place in our hotel. We actually haven't had a massage yet whilst we've been in Thailand, so we're really looking forward to this. We both chose a back and shoulder massage, um, and we're in separate rooms. But yeah, we've just got to go downstairs to the bottom floor. And so cheap. Yeah, it's so cheap. It's literally like ten pounds yeah. each. Um, but I'll let you know what it's like afterwards. So we're now back from the massage. I can't decide whether I hated that or actually enjoyed it. Um, but basically, I think because I've got so many knots in my back, it just wasn't that enjoyable because it just hurt quite a lot. <laughs> Sorry, the camera cut off. But yeah, I was literally laying there like, oh. Um, oh I was thinking if you could see my face right now from underneath, I was literally like, you know what made me creeps was the fact that when I was laying there, if I opened my eyes and say she was like above my you head, I just saw these two, yeah. these two feet because they yeah. don't wear like shoes and that. So it was like just this, like, <laughs> this woman's feet. Oh what? She had socks on. Oh no, she had see this woman's toes oh, in there. Ugh. I was like, but, oh, um, give me eyes shut. <laughs> yeah, she did 
my back and then my neck was okay that felt quite nice and then she massaged my head um which i actually really liked so next time i might just get a head massage we rate that about a five out of ten i would rate Jack it really enjoyed it. it was unreal because yeah. i had like back pains and shit and that she was just proper getting in there and i feel like but I thought Tomorrow, like after I would feel like lighter. It wasn't as relaxing as I thought it would be. Like it definitely was a bit more like yeah. proper get in there. It wasn't and like, then, oh, like at the end she asleep. started like bashing yeah. up. <laughs> she, she, oh, she, she did this. Thing. She was going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then she like hit the back of my neck. Yes. It was like, you're done. I was like, thanks love. But it was meant to be just the back and shoulders, but it ended up being arms, legs, head, and, f and full back and yeah. shoulders. Yeah, so I massaged in my face, like down yeah. my nose and stuff, <laughs> yeah. I was like, um, but yeah, it was an experience. Um, but I'm going to the night market again now, just to get some more food, because the whole time I was actually thinking about a chicken wrap. Um, actually, I last night in Krabby tonight, and then tomorrow we go to Kotal. I'll probably end the vlog later, but... I'll show you what food we get first from the night market. Chicken wrap stands open. I'm so excited. We got a chicken Caesar wrap. Here's our chicken wrap. It literally looks so good. We also got it with chips. We got chicken poppers and then Jack got a beef burger. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. And then finally we've got this chocolate brownie, Nutella chocolate brownie. Yeah, look how good this looks. We're back at the room now, so we're going to enjoy this. So I'm going to end this vlog here. We are leaving Krabby today to go to Kotal. So I'm going to start a new vlog when we get to Kotal. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching our time in Krabby. It's actually been unreal and I feel like because my birthday is spent here, I'll always remember it. Um, and I literally love the Elephant Sanctuary. Um, so I definitely recommend to do that if you're coming here. But um, if you've got any questions about Krabby, definitely let me know and like write them in the comments. Because I feel like when I'm vlogging, I don't really explain much. But I can help you in the comments if you've got any questions. But yeah, give this video a like if you did enjoy. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next vlogs. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye! <laughs>